Hi, I'm Neharika Arora. I'm pursuing a Master of Communication at the UW Communication Leadership Program. I'm a second year student, and my research is assessing COVID-19 vaccine adoption, behavior change campaigns on social media. And uh, just a uh, kind of disclaimer, this is more on the tech for good side and the good side of social media. So maybe it will give a different lens on how to uh, look at these big tech. Um, okay, so uh, the, uh, the whole research was running COVID vaccine campaigns that was done by a nonprofit restart in partnership with my program and funded by Facebook ad credits. The goal was to influence the COVID-19 vaccination through the use of social media. And Restart Partners is a nonprofit that has worked in the last one year for mask adoption, small business support, and vaccine adoption. So the campaign was, uh, we identified the target audience quickly by doing the research, and it was conducted mainly for the residents of Washington and Spanish speakers. Uh, there were social media ads like these that were served to all residents in uh, Washington in various different languages. These are some of the campaign ads. There were a total of uh, 88 ads that were run in a span of five weeks. And these are some of the results that uh, I would like to highlight that there was a reach of 1.4 million people. And then there is a tool called Brandlift study that measures, okay, how many people uh, change their behaviors? Like, did they get some information or did they uh, recall something important by seeing these ads? And what we noticed is that 3.8% lift resulted into 53,000 people uh, seeing the change. So the objective is, can we synthesize a theory of change to influence behavior change through social media in public health safety? And can that be scaled for other campaigns? So this is what we came down to, uh, assessing the whole campaign through the FOG behavior model. The FOG behavior model has potential applications for mapping the health behaviors. And it's a combination of three driving factors, that's motivation, ability, and prompt. And it says when all of three, three factors come together, uh, this is when the behavior change happens in an individual. And let's assess one of the uh, drivers, ability. So ability has like, do you have the access and the time, money, uh, can you put effort? And these are some of the ads like uh, providing resource that do you, you have an appointment, all you have to do is go to this place and schedule an appointment online. So this is like providing access or knowledge or information in the form of ability. Some of the other ads were prompt that served as a reminder. For example, uh, the Washington state said that from 15th April, everyone is eligible for a COVID vaccine. So by seeing this ad, it serves as a reminder to me, oh, 15th April is here and I am now eligible in the general public. So I need to get my vaccine done. So that's how it serves like a spark, a facilitator, or have you got your second dose? Uh, and then the third type of driver was motivation. Now, motivation could be in various forms like sensation, in hope, in fear, social acceptance. Social acceptance would be, I got vaccinated. What about you? So it's invoking that motivation of, uh, with, will I be socially accepted if I'm not vaccinated? So it's giving in a positive connotation and addressing like fear of needles and the hope of life after pandemic. So these three factors came in and the learnings were that not every campaign needs a lot of research before. Sometimes you just have to go on the run, like research, create, learn and repeat. And a lot of power if given to the nonprofits, it can be uh, create a lot of behavior change. Future use could be the same model can be, uh, can be used to design other public health campaigns and study the attitude change models. 
uh, acknowledgements to my advisor, Akhtar Bacha, manager, Alex Stonehill, and student manager, Alyssa. And this is the whole team of Comlead and Facebook, Washington Department of Health, and other bodies at UW who supported this research. And yep, this is about me. Uh, so thank you. And uh, please feel free to ask any questions.